Several red line metro stations are reopening after several months of maintenance. DC News Now's John Marie Sasse is live at the Silver Springs Metro Station. Now, John Marie, what changes can riders expect? Good morning. Well, we definitely spoke to a few riders this morning and everyone is excited to finally hop on the train instead of getting on the shuttle like they've been doing over the past few months. Many of them saying that it's caused a lot of inconvenience throughout their work day, but they're back to get go back to their normal schedule throughout the day. And Metro says that the new ride for the train should be a lot smoother than normal. Now here, Glenmont, we in Forest Glen and Silver Spring Metro Station reopened Sunday after being closed for renovations this summer. And Metro says they've done maintenance to elevators as escalators, repaired sidewalks, replaced rails, fixed track signs, and even parking lots. And nearly 15,000 riders had the chance to take shuttle buses during this time because of the stations closing for over three months. Now, during the renovations, the Purple Line construction was also happening here at the Silver Spring Station, and that will continue until 2027, but that won't affect Metro. Now, an important note for riders today on Labor Day that on, they are running on a Sunday schedule, meaning all trains will operate every 6 to 12 minutes today, but to Tomorrow, everything will operate as normal, and that does include Glenmont, Wheaton Forest Glen, and Silver Spring Metro. Now, as I mentioned, many riders today told me that they are super excited to hop on the red line again from here instead of having to use those shuttles. It's making their day a lot easier. Some of them even tried it out yesterday. But coming up later this year, Metro does plan on adding more digital signs on the platform and also the entrances later on in December. For now, reporting in Silver Spring, Maryland, I'm Yamar Sisse, DC News Now.